Everyone else in class has such a cool phone case. Where did you come from? I'm on okay. Put your phone in this locker for a surprise! Okay then, it's worth a try. A locker phone case? Yeah, ain't that cool? Let's see what's inside. Bye. Oh my gosh, and it's a completely full locker! Today, I am gonna be showing you something, and that is a locker phone case. Yes, it's a phone case you can open up just like these lockers here, and you can find little miniature versions of school supplies, but yet you could also keep like little pieces of candy in this hidden compartment in your phone, secret notes and messages, whatever you want. Make sure you subscribe to become an official Glitter Critter so you'll never miss another video like this one. So I just wanna thank the sponsor of this video, which is Game Loft. And Game Loft asked me to check out the Disney Magic Kingdom's game and play it for myself and that's exactly what I did and oh my gosh you guys are going to love it and this game is so adventurous and fun I absolutely love these types of games I'm obsessed with apps so before we get into this tutorial let me tell you just a little bit about this game I think you're gonna want to hear this picture this building your very own Disney theme park along with rides and main attractions from the park and you can create it however you want it to be it's all by yourself like could you imagine yourself another thing that's really cool about it is that you can collect and upgrade some of your favorite characters from Disney and Pixar films there's Mickey and Goofy and Buzz Lightyear and Woody there's Aurora from Sleeping Beauty and Rapunzel I absolutely love how cute Disney Magic Kingdom is it is so much fun I totally recommend you give it a try it is absolutely free to download I mean who doesn't love free fun I'll be sure to post the link at the top of the description below please make sure you go and you check it out I promise you will not regret it so now let's get started if you're in class you get a little hungry and you need somewhere to store a piece of gum or something to hold you over as well as your money credit cards anything small flat that you can fit in here including secret messages then this locker phone case is perfect so the first thing you're going to need is one of these hidden compartment phone cases and I got these on Amazon for I would say about five to eight dollars they're super cheap just like all the other phone cases out there and then I use this really cheap plastic container where I cut out a longer piece of plastic so that way I can elongate the phone case because I really wanted it to look like a real locker so I went ahead and stripped out the inner portion of the phone case and just so it didn't look horrible I used this gift bag here and glued it to the inside which you can keep as just your locker wallpaper if you'd like so next I'm using some of this pink to white spackle and I'm also using some water to smooth it out and I'm completely covering the phone case evenly and as smoothly as possible then I let it air dry in front of a fan overnight then after it was completely dried all the way through I used some of this fine grit sandpaper to smooth it out and then because I wanted this phone case to look somewhat 3d I'm using some of this air dry modeling clay and molding little pieces to look like the vents that are on the outside of the locker at the top and the bottom and then I made a little handle for the locker so now it is time to paint it on up and you can paint your your locker phone case whatever color you like I chose this color but really glitter is my favorite color so after the pink paint dried I wanted to add a little bit more definition in between each one of the vents so I'm just painting in between each one with a darker red paint and then I'm using one of my favorite metallic nail polishes to paint the vents I wasn't going to paint the vents at first but I thought that they were kind of blending in too much so then I just used some clear nail polish as well as some glitter to complete completely finish up the paint job. After that dried, it is time for the really fun part, which is the decorating process. So I'm taking some of this really colorful duct tape and I just put a strip over the top of the locker here. Then taking some of this really cute tape, I just bordered the mirror with it. And let me just say this mirror was not the best quality, so I was trying to cover up most of it. And because I didn't have any cardstock printer paper, I had to print out my locker graphics onto this sticker paper that I had 
had left over from previous videos and I have to say it worked out really well and I kind of like the fact that it was a little bit shiny. So I'll be sure to link all of these locker decoration images in the description below if you want to print them out and make your own locker phone case. And then I'll also use some confetti as well as these cute little gems to plaster all over this phone case. Like the decorating process was so much fun. And because I really wasn't doing anything with the camera hole, I went ahead and filled it with some confetti and I glued it all down with some super glue. For the outside of the locker, I felt like it really needed the little tag at the top that most lockers have, like a number or your name. So I made the little tag at the top with my metallic nail polish and I bordered it with a Sharpie marker and drew on GF17. So I was thinking this locker would not be complete without its very own mini and cute tiny combination lock. So I'm using some of this black polymer clay that you oven bake and I'm rolling it into a ball and then I'm squishing it with this flat, I think this is a pencil sharpener here. And after that I rolled another little tiny ball and I put it on top so that way I could mold the knob into the perfect shape. This is the little knob that you turn to put in the combination numbers, obviously. Why am I even explaining this? I pinched it off a little bit because it was a little too tall and I just molded it into place. So now it's time to make the actual lock portion. So I just rolled that up a little bit into a little roly poly and then I stuck it on and I baked this in the oven on, I think it was 275 degrees. You do this according to the instructions on the box. Next I used some white paint to draw on all the graphics and I put a little M because that's the most popular brand of combinations. I think it's called Master. And then I used some metallic paint for the outside to make it look like a metal combination lock. This is just the classic combination lock. Last I super glued it on and that completes the locker phone case. Let me know in the comments what you think and what other strange DIYs do you want to see from me? Especially for back to school. And remember to subscribe to become an official glitter critter and don't forget to go and download Disney Magic Kingdoms. I'll be sure to post the link in the description below. So I thank you for watching and have a glitterful day.